here is the review of Transformers Generations Thrilling 30th Deluxe Class Dreadwing, who is th this guy. And this one. And, and, and this is the original Dr Dreadwing. And as you already heard, my, my dad's here. Hey, hello, y'all. So, so as you can see, Dreadwing here is a repaint and slight remold of the Generations Stealth Bomber Me Megatron, who is also part of the Thrilling 30th line. So you mean to tell me that Megatron was a bomber? Yes. Really? J yeah. Just like th this guy. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Huh. Okay. I will go with that. That's what they had. And what what gener what part was he from? Generations? You said Frailing 30th line. Okay. Alrighty. Now, as y'all can see, this right here, that's the original. He's a big boy. And then you had the little baby. No, <laughs> go ahead. No, <laughs> go ahead. And as you can already tell, they they both do have the, the same color scheme. Even the silver here, well, th this one's chrome here. But The, the other d difference, well, the, the only difference is with this versus the original one is that this one doesn't have these camo painted things on the wings like the original one here does. Hmm. Okay. And he does have the, if I can zoom in, he has the G2 symbols on both sides of the cock, cock, cockpit here. So, they now that's pretty interesting because all they did was they took this old... G2 Decepticon symbol. Can you get that right there? Yes. That, and they just carried it over into the Drillin' 30 line? That's what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to take him, move him out the way. Unless there's something else you want to compare it to. There's nothing else that I could okay. compare it to. Alright, I will get him out the way and... You got it, buddy. And... For, for features... On the bottom... He does have... A retractable landing gear. Which is this. That you can fold up. And he also does have two other landing gears here, which are just molded in. That's a pretty good representation. So. And another thing that, that this guy comes with, like the other Thrilling 30th figures, is this included comic book, which is part of the 
IDW Comics. And this is from Dreadwing. This is from Robots in the Skies issue number 17 called Shockwaves. Issue number 17 and it's called Shockwaves. IDW Dreadwing. And that that's about it for the veil commode. So, so to transform him, you, you want to take these wings here, untap them from the bottom using these holes here from these purple tabs here and set them off to the side. Okay, so he's kind of a parts former. You gotta take off the wings, okay? Yeah, yes, but, but there is something else you can do with these. Okay. T take these here, separate them, and you also want to separate them from these and bring them up. And then you want to take these here, separate them, and you also want to separate them from here. Rotate them around. And inside here, you want to flip out the heel, well, the knee, knee pads is what I meant to say. Then you want to strain his legs out. Rotate them. Flip up his feet. And as for his waist, you want to bring it down. And you also want to bring it up on that, that pin joint there. And for the front, you want to separate these and bring them down. And then you want to bring them all the way back. And as for these, you want to you want to bring them down on this joint here. Well, well, no, no, no. Don't, don't bring the, these down on these joints. What, what you want to do with these is you, you want these holes here to go into those ta tabs, 
right, right, right here. And you want to take the back here, bring it down, and you also want to take the cockpit here, fold it down, and these two pegs are going to go into those two holes right there. Rotate his arms down. Position his elbows so that way you can rotate his biceps around. Flip these out. And on the insides here, you want to flip out his hands. And as for these two, what you want to do with these is you want to take the tip here and slide it out, and as you slide them out, these move. And on the bottom of one of these, you want to flip out this peg, and then you can connect these together into this peg and this peg to that hull and to that hull, which will make the like ra rail ca cannon, which is like his shoulder or. fusion cannon and you just connect it to either one of these hulls to this peg and you're done I have to say that the color looks really good. The black and the blue and the purple, it all just merges together and it's really good looking. Then you also have your translucent eyes right there with the back. What, which is the light, light piping. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that that has been changed here is he has a new head but but the rest is just a re repaint of the me Megatron the oh. Megatron okay now I do like what you were showing them about that parts to the wing can separate and then reattach to go on the forearm to make a a cannon or a real gun. What which is supposed to be his f fusion, fusion cannon? Cannon. Okay. And that's that's some of the stuff from the Megatron of this mold. Okay. Wow. Now let's take a look at the G two. And the colors are 
very similar. They've got the the colors exactly from the G2 right here and just carried it over to this one here. Which I have to say that this this color works well for Decepticons because the blue the the purplish blue just blends in with the lighter blue and then you have black the the off match it same same way with this one here so I think that works really well and they even carried over the translucent red from G2 to the wings to the cockpit to the eyes for the light piping they did a phenomenal job of matching the color from G2 to today of Dreadwing and um, it houses articulation move him out the way okay for, for articulation Head is on a ball joint. Arms are on a ball joint. And you can, if you want, to move them on this hinge joint for the transformation. Bicep swivel. Elbow. Ball joint at the legs, thigh swivel, knee, and that that's it. And, and he doesn't come with any accessories the, the only accessory that he comes with is his f fusion cannon and also the co comic book so my final thoughts on this is the colors are exquisite they kept the G2 logo of Decepticon from the G2 logo of this one here, which I think is phenomenal. I was not expecting that. The colors and the insignia, there's no doubt you can tell he's a Decepticon. Really good color scheme and articulation. And that's about all I got to think for it. How about you, Colton? I, I really think that they did a gr great job at, at ma making the me Megatron mold into the dr dread wing. Mold That's a good point. That's a good to, point. to capture the design of the original G2 figure. Wow. And the only thing that they did here was gave them a new head and a new paint color scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I, I think that's about it. So, there you have it. Transformers Generations Thrilling 30th Dreadwing. And if you like this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Th thanks for watching. Thank you.